in Joshua chapter 21 verse 45, the word of God says, Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled, my God. He said every single one of the promises that God made to Israel, that God made to his people, every one of them was fulfilled. Dear child of God, every of the promises of God to you will be fulfilled. Everything that God told you, every single thing that God told your family, every single thing that God dropped in your heart, they will be fulfilled. This is not one of all the good promises, all the wonderful promises from the Lord failed. Every single one of them were fulfilled. Dear child of God, God is the good father and he says every good and every perfect gift comes from above, comes from him. And everything good, everything beautiful, everything that would make your life beautiful, they would begin to happen in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. They would begin to happen in your family in the mighty name of Jesus. You will see pleasantness, such blessings, such bountiful blessings from God that takes away pressure. Everything that God brings to the lives of his people that makes them glad, dear child of God, you would receive each and every one of them. Have faith in God. Trust him. Every of the promise that he made to you will come to pass. Every single one of them. None of them will fail. The word of God in 1 Kings chapter 8 verse 24 says, You have kept your word to your servant, my God. This will be your testimony. You will come to God and say, Thank you for keeping every of your word to me. You will lift up your eyes to heaven and say thank you. Because you kept your word. The single thing you said that you would do, every one of them came to pass. Every single thing you promised me, everything you said you were going to do for my family, every one of them came to pass. He said, you have kept your word to your servant. David had everything that God told him come to pass. And Solomon knew about it and came to testify. He came to give thanks to God, saying everything you told my father this very day, you have fulfilled what you promised. Dear child of God, know this today that God will fulfill his promises. Every single thing that he said he would do, everything he promised you, he will fulfill them. Yes, they may have taken a long time. You may have been waiting for them. They may have lingered. But be rest assured of this, dear child of God. God will do it. Yes, he knows how to do it. He knows how to work it out. It is not your problem how God will do it. Just be expectant. The word of God says that the expectations of the righteous will not be cut short. Just be expectant. Hope for the things that he has said he will do. And I want to assure you, the God who is worthy to be praised, he would do it. He would turn everything around. He would turn the situation around that you have been faced with for a long time. And you will see that his promises are coming to pass. He says that the Lord your God is worthy of praise because he has fulfilled what he promised my father David. 1 Kings 8 verse 15. Dear child of God, the promises of God, yes, every single one of them will come to pass. You would have a reason to rejoice. You would have a reason to testify because God came through for you. He says not a single one of all the good promises the Lord had given to the family of Israel was left unfulfilled. He says everything he had spoken came through. Dear child of God, you know God is not a man to lie to you. You know God cannot say the things that he would not do. He would not make vain promises and this is what i want you to know this is what i want you to know this faithful day that god will do it he will do everything that he has said every single one of them yes you may not know how he will do it and it's not your problem to know you don't need to figure it out just wait open god and watch 
what he would do. He told them that they should wait and see the salvation of the Lord. They should be on their watch. Dear child of God, watch and see. Because you will taste of God's goodness. You will see how God will come true for you. And you would have a reason to dance. You would have a reason to testify in Jesus' mighty name. He says, the Lord made them to have a testimony. Every single thing he said came to pass. God will make you to have that testimony. It would make you to rejoice. You will look around you and say, indeed, God has provided to me everything he said he would do. He has come through for me. He said it and he did it. Yes, he said it and he brought it to pass. He said he would do it and he came through for me and did it. Dear child of God, it is time that you go through everything that God has said he would do. It is time that you begin to take stock of every single one of them. Check everything that he has done. Look into them and have a reason to go to him and say to him, God, you said you would do this and I want to assure you, he would do it. At that very time, the word of God says that God remembered. God has in mind every single thing and God remembering doesn't mean that he forget. Does it mean that he forgot what he said he would do? It meant it was the time for you to have your own testimony. And I want to assure you that the time for your testimony has come. The time for you to rejoice has come. The promises are yea and amen in Christ. Dear child of God, they are yes in him. And if he would say it, it means that they are sealed. So it is time that you say amen to the promises that God has made. Did he say to you that you will get married at a particular time? Dear child of God, just say amen to it. Receive it because it is going to happen. Yes, you don't know how it will happen, but it will most definitely happen. And you would have a reason to rejoice. You will come back to him and say, oh God, you are worthy to be praised because of all the things that you said you would do and you did it. Dear child of God, you will not have any reason to cry anymore. You will not have any reason to regret because God is going to come through for you and it will come true for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, the word of God says that now, O Lord God of Israel, keep the promise you made to your servant. My God, it says keep the promise that you made to your servant. It's okay for you to go to God and say, O Lord, my God, this is what you said you would do for me. This is what you said you would do for my spouse. This is what you said you would do in the life of my husband. This is what you said you would do for my wife. This is what you said you would do for my children. Please come through for us. Give us a reason to rejoice. Give us our bundle of joy. Give us our testimony. Go to God and remind him everything he said he would do. And I want to assure you, your expectations will not be cut short. He knows how wonderful it will be if he brings those things into your life and he's telling you, my child, he's saying to you today, my child, I will bring every one of them into your life. I would make sure that everything you prayed for, everything you hoped for, everything you believed for, you will see each and every one of them. He says, you will never fail to have me in your life every day. He says, you will never fail. You will not fail me. You will not disappoint me. You will not put me to shame. Dear child of God, God will not fail you. God will not disappoint you. God will not put you to shame. He will provide for you all that you need. Because the promises he made to you are secured. Yes, they are all secured with him. And he is assuring you today that you will receive them into your life. And this would cause you to rejoice. This will cause you to dance. This will cause you to celebrate all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. The days that you have cried, the days that you have sorrowed, the days that you have had the heaviness of heart, they will be gone because now every of the promises that were sealed in Christ Jesus will be coming to pass in your life. Yes, begin to name them because you will testify and put a timeline to it. Tell God, please, I want this at such a time and God that keeps to an appointment will keep to this appointment yes it's the covenant keeping God and it's the God that keeps to the appointment 
with his children is the God that keeps to the covenant that he had made and he will give you a reason to rejoice. He will give you a reason to testify in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, he will not reach your turn and change. No way. He cannot get to you and stop being good. He will be good to you and you will see his graciousness. He will be good to you and you will experience a turnaround victory in Jesus' mighty name. I say to you congratulations because God have done it. And you would have a reason to rejoice in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.